it's a lovely good morning to you so today i want to share with you how effective is um comfrey fertilizer so this is a fertilizer in the drum okay so we ferment the comfrey for um 14 days then stirring it every day then you put every two weeks like in the fruit trees and i think it has been working very well it has been working very well the other thing that we put is stephonia as you can see that plant there and you can see how big the bananas actually have have um, have grown we just pruned them we were desaccharine um, then coming this side you would see how the bunches are turning out to be okay how the bunches are turning out to be you can see how big this bunch is going to be so how you determine the size of the bunch is by the size of the trunk and i can see a number of big trunks around that are coming up we you can see this one so the size is 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 very decent and this one is going to be flowering very soon so the key thing is in feeding your plants mulching them up but uh, you know bananas love um what is this they love potassium especially when they are fruiting so what we normally do is we mulch with um, uh, comfrey you can see how the roots are actually coming out we mulch with comfrey and also tithonia and you can see how things are biodegrading so all these things that we do they they help our plants to be flourishing and doing extremely very well so then this side what we are doing is we are planting um some some grapes and, and what what we are doing here is we we're just making sure that we provide canopy because one thing that i have observed is you see here there's a tree and everything that is under the tree seems to be doing better than what is 100 percent exposed in the sun not that sunlight is not good but what we're experiencing nowadays is there's just too much sunlight then that affects the stomata um so where there's too much um heat photosynthesis doesn't happen so the stomata of the plants like this is kale it closes up then a plant stops uh, making um, food you know photosynthesis is the process that plants actually use to make food but not only that they also get stressed then there's heat burn um, just like you know you don't function well when it is um, when it is hot even machines don't function well when it is hot so they need to be cooled down so what we are doing right now is we would want to grow some grapes between the rows as you can see uh, between the rows we are growing grapes so that these are permanent beds in these beds what we are going to be doing is we would want to be growing vegetables throughout but we need some kind of canopy so we grow sun hemp and as you can see i have this stock of sun hemp that we are putting underneath it decomposes extremely very fast uh, and when it decomposes fast um, it, it, it helps in retaining moisture and nutrients you see the times that we are we are in are not easy times to grow food but we have to be very innovative we have to be very um, uh, deliberate about things things are not just happening by chance then then after that we're going to get some leaves of comfrey um, so the comfrey will get it because it decomposes faster we'll put it there so that as we get these other fresh things and put them there we are guaranteed that we are going to um to have very good organic matter at the base that retains moisture leaving organisms but at the same time also we're going to have something that is very useful in terms of nutrition because we don't want to guess about anything everything that i've been doing all these years i've done so many try and error and now i'm bouncing back with knowledge experience and i know exactly what i'm doing in terms of exactness it's even the way we are lining up the, um, the the holes straight in all directions 
doing the right things from the onset water irrigation is already installed nutrition so i'm not in a rush to do anything to please anyone i'm doing the right thing because i've learned things the hard way and you see that's one that's one thing you see there are certain things you will never learn by theory never you can only learn them by practice and you want to avoid mistakes it is far much better to consult from those that have made mistakes before and a punch boy uh, so you, you really have to make sure that you don't do certain mistakes and you save a lot of time and a lot of money and you get the best results out of everything that you actually uh, do so having said that have a great day wishing you nothing but the best from organic from seven we love you so much